Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your old friend Joe. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about language that you can use at work. All right. Lots of students want to find jobs and sometimes those jobs require you to speak some English. Now, if this is your situation, of course, I don't know exactly where you work or where you want to work, but I can give you some general and common English expressions and sentences that can be useful on the job. Okay? I can also tell you what the other people might, might say. All right? So, in this video, I'm going to tell you some common sentences that you can use in different situations and how other people will respond. But I also want to tell you what other people might say at work to you, especially if it's a new job, and what you can say back. Okay? So, let's get started. So, imagine, uh, the first one, imagine if a customer or client comes near you, maybe walks towards your desk or into your office or your work area. So these are things that you can say first. So the first one is, hello, may I help you? That is a very common way to greet people coming into your work area or your store. Okay. And they could respond with, yes, I'm looking for, and they might say, I'm looking for Mr. Smith. I'm looking for the exit or yes, I need, I need to find Mr. Smith. I need to talk to someone about, okay. So that's how you can start the conversation and how they may continue it. That's the first one. Now the second one. Now, what if you're expecting someone to come to your office and you see someone walking in, you can say, Hello, are you Mr. Johnson? And they might say, yes, I am. All right? Then you can introduce yourself and tell them where to go next or what you're going to do, where they're supposed to go in the office. All right? So you can always just say, hello, are you Mr. Johnson? If you are expecting Mr. Johnson. All right? Now, you've come this far in the video. And many of my old students, they know that I like to put in secret codes in my videos. There's going to be three of them. And if you see all of the secret codes and send them to me in a direct message at Teacher Joe Crossman on Instagram, then I'll know that I should help you more and perhaps answer some of your questions and give you more assistance. Okay? So here is the first secret code. It is work vocabulary. Okay? Let's move on to the third situation. So imagine if uh, you want to find something out. Okay? You want to find something out from that person or from someone in your office or a coworker. You can say, Excuse me, can I ask you a question? And then, if they're a good co-worker and they have time, certainly. What do you want to know? All right? So, if you work in a, in a good office, a great work environment, people will welcome your questions because they know you're trying hard to get better at your job. Okay? Now, situation number four. What if you disagree with something or with what's being said? You can say, actually, I have another idea. Can I share it? And the other person might say, sure, I'd like to hear what you think. Okay, so that's hopefully genuine, and they will listen to your ideas. Okay, because we all know that workplaces are better when we share all of our expertise. All right. Now, here's kind of a funny one, kind of a joke. Don't really say this. Number five, what if you hate someone you work with? So you can say, 
Do you, do you want to ever see your family again? <laughs> and the other person will say, ah, and run away. Okay, now don't really say this, all right? Of course, it's just a joke, but you can think it. That's okay. <laughs> you don't have to love everybody. Now, here is some more vocabulary about what if the other person at work speaks first, okay? Especially if you're new at your job, okay? So the first one is, what if uh, they see that you are not from this country, perhaps you're a new immigrant, they might say, oh, where do you come from originally? Okay, and then you could reply, I come from, hmm, I grew up in the city of, hmm. All right, that's very common ways for them to ask and for you to answer. Okay, now you've come this far, I want to give you the second secret code. And the second secret code is be a good worker. All right. Let's go on to the seventh situation. Maybe they want to ask, how long have you been here? Okay. So they might say, can I ask how long you've been in this country? And you could answer, I've been here a total of, hmm. So, six months, six years, okay? And then you can add mm as a student and mm as an employee of this company, all right? So, those are common ways to, an to ask that question and answer it. Let's go to number eight. What if they want to know how you like it here? Now, they might mean how you like it here in this country, or how you like it here at this company. Okay, so there's two different ways to answer it depending on what they're talking about. So they might ask, so how do you like it here? Or how are you finding it here? Okay, and you could ask for the, for the country, well, the weather and food are certainly different, but I really love it. Or B, about the company, I just love it here. My coworkers are so friendly and helpful. All right. So that's an answer to that question. Now, what if someone you work with has a problem and they need your help? They may say, excuse me, I have a problem that maybe you can help me with. And you can answer, absolutely. What can I do for you? All right. And the last one, this one again is a little funny. What if they hate you? They might say, do you know how much I hate you? And you can answer, yes, it's about 10% of how much I hate you and your fat head. <laughs> All right. Now, of course, I'm joking. Don't say that. <laughs> You're going to lose your job. If anybody ever does say that they hate you, you should report them to your supervisor. Or if it's your supervisor says something bad, report it to his supervisor. Okay? All right? You're not allowed to be <laughs> telling people that you hate them at work. We don't do that. All right. So you've finished all of the common things that could be said. Uh, for this video. And if you can think of any other sentences that you might use at work, I want you to write them down below in the notes and I'll check your grammar. If I think there's a mistake or you should say it another common way, I'll write back to you and fix your grammar. Okay. And the third secret code is don't kill anyone at work. All right. Okay, so that's the end of this video. If you want to see another video, you can click on this link and you'll see me. I mean, my beard will be a different length, maybe a few more hairs. I don't know. Different color shirt. But the most important thing is that you keep learning English. All right. Uh, by the way, 
What kind of job do you want to get in the future? That's it for now. See ya.